Welcome back to Mr. GTS Garage. Today we are going to constant travel on the ST1300 and we're going to go through the process of changing the brake fluid. So full disclosure, I'm not going to bleed the brakes completely first and then put in uh, the new brake fluid. And the reason why I'm not going to do that is because the manual refers to a vacuum pump method of doing it. And I think there are, reading the forums, there are issues when it comes to making the fluid go through the proportional control valve into the rear brake. So everything I've read, there are issues using the manual method of doing this. You're not going to get enough pressure in there to push the new liquid through an empty P uh, control valve, proportional control valve. So I am going to use the old fashioned method of just pushing new liquid through and draining off the old liquid from around the bike. So we are going to um, start by removing the existing brake fluid in the master cylinder. So this is broken down to three cylinders actually. It has a master cylinder, it has a secondary master cylinder that's attached to the, uh, the left hand caliper. I am right on saying that for as you look at the bike. The left hand caliper has a secondary master cylinder on it and then you have the rear master cylinder at the back and they are all linked through the proportional control valve which is a fantastic bit of kit which I don't fully understand and I'm not going to pretend to. Okay, so we've removed the what they call the saddlebags. I've removed the seat and I've removed the side covers. We now unfortunately have to remove the middle cowl um, from the left hand side. So if you're sitting, sorry, from the right hand side. So if you're sitting on the bike, here's the right hand side middle cowl that you need to take off. Unfortunately, that means you've got to take off the lower cowl and the inner trim by the radiator. Um, that is a pain, it's just a, it is just a pain in the arse to be honest. Now I have created a video already and I shall put the link up here, hopefully here, or it'll be here, or it'll be down there, or it'll be down there. And that is a link to the video that shows you how to do it. If I video everything now, the length of this video is going to go up by about 20 to 30 minutes. So please go to this video, see how to remove the panels you need and then come back and watch the rest of this video. Okay, so that's the mid cowl off, and now we have exposed the proportional control valve. I had to struggle then, I forgot what it was called. Let's go and have a look about the location, which is the most important part. The proportional control is on the right hand side of the bike, and it is there just under that lip of that tank so that's what i'm after okay so the first step is we're going to cover our paintwork and that is going to prevent us accidentally spilling brake fluid over it and crying into a cup of tea at later point okay with our tank covered it is important that we turn the handles until the master brake cylinder is level what you don't want to do is have that on an angle when you remove that because then you increase the risk of the brake fluid hitting your paint so 
turn the bars until this is horizontal, cover your tape and then take the cover off keeping these screws safe. We're then going to take a syringe and we're going to remove the old brake fluid out of the top and give this a clean out. Okay, the last of the brake fluid cleaner. We can clean up the inside which is actually fairly clean. Disposing So that's clean. Okay, the reservoir is now empty. We're going to take a brand new, um, take a brand new brake fluid knot four. We're going to make two holes, one at the top and one at the bottom. help us control the flow and we're just going to fill that container up again with clean you do not shake the bottle you don't want to put any air bubbles in that aren't already in there just keep it to one side okay so starting on the left hand side on the outer brake nipple which is the one at the very top I take a long piece of hose and I lift it up until it's vertical. Then I crack the bleed nipple so it's open, the air's coming up, and then I just pump the brakes until the reservoir is full or this tube is complete. So. There you go. I cap the end, keep the vacuum, close the nipple off. And I basically just run the tube full into a container. So it's as simple as that. Top up the master brake cylinder. Keep the pipe vertical. You need two hands for this. Keep the vent vertical. Release the brake nipple. And just pump the front brake until I end up with a tube. Cap the tube to keep the vacuum. Close the brake nipple off. Empty the tube into a container. Okay, we're now on the right side. I've connected the pipe to exactly the same brake nipple as on the left. So this is basically called the outer brake nipple. And it is the very top one. And I'm going to use the same procedure using the pipe. Lifting it vertical. Hopefully you can still see that. Lifting it vertical. Cracking open the bleed nipple. And then using the front brake to push the new brake fluid through until I have a pipe full. Now this is the second pipe full that I've run through so this is fairly clear considering what it was like. So near the end create a vacuum by covering the end which is there, closing the nipple and then I just bring this down into a container And the old stuff just drains away into there. Okay, so the next job is going to be the proportional control valve. And that starts by first removing on the left hand side of the bike, removing this caliper using this bolt and this, and rotating that to 15 degrees. So the secondary master cylinder is uh, at an angle to allow the uh, any air that gets into the system to bleed through to the proportional control valve. Okay, I've basically secured the caliper um, come 
secondary master cylinder through the bars with a piece of string that's just attached to the top bar run it down on the inside of it and then attach it to the back brake it's quite simple again not going to teach you how to suck eggs pipe vertical as we said before crack it open again and we're just going to purge the old stuff by pressing the rear brake pedal and you can see the color already of the old system it, the brake pedal is quite as nice because it's got some good once again just purge it nice and simply this is still the old stuff you can see it is a kind of an orange color keeping an eye Again, cap the end, keep the vacuum, and then we're going to tighten it off again. And dispose into the roll. in there already crack again so I get two two tube falls every master cylinder so I know I'm not going to run dry on these. And it's beginning to clear down as well. So cap the end, lock it off. Okay. So the next stage is to take the pipe and connect it to the middle uh, nipple on your rear caliper. And we're going to use the same process again by lifting the pipe vertical, making sure it's on securely, we're going to crack the nipple open and then we are going to use the front brake or the brake pedal, either one moves the fluid through on the other side of the bike. Now you may need a second person for this and for this demonstration my beautiful wife is going to act the pedaling. So would you mind activate the pedaling now. There you go. That's it, keep going, keep going, one more, just small, that's it, cap it off, tighten the bleed nipple, and then just going to empty that, this one's probably, you may take your foot off, and it's probably going to take two or three through, because that is orange, and where it should actually be clear, so I need to speed that process up, that's good enough, so I can lift it up again, vertical, Crack the nipple open again, um, and you just keep an eye on that level round there. Make sure that doesn't run dry. I've opened it, you're pressing on it already. Thank you. One more, and again a little bit. 
There you go. It didn't take actually long to get the clear stuff coming through. So the next step is to come to the right hand side of the bike and you're now after the central um, bleed nipple which is the one directly in the middle of the banjo bolts. So we're going to crack that open again, we're going to keep the pipe directly vertical and stop all the air coming back through the system. So we just crack it open and we're now using the um, rear brake pedal to push the liquid into the pipe and as you can see it's again this dark brown hopefully you can see that again it's this dark brown uh, liquid so again the foot pedal for this time just push it up until what we, should, what we will need to do is refill it off and bring it down and so that's the right hand side caliper done we're now going to put the left hand caliper back onto the wheel fasten it up and we're going to do the left hand side now So with the tubing into the middle, there's only two, so you've either got a, a centre or a middle. You don't have three or four, centre or middle. So this one's now in the middle. Um, I need to take it off again because I haven't put the ring spanner on. And now, just break it. This is easy. Here we go. The, it, comes, it comes with rubbish. Thank you. Keep going. Oh, you can, you can hit and again, and again, and that's it. Either. Let me just notch it. Uh, now you can. Okay. And now keep going and yeah, stay there. So, let me just stay there. Now, is the master cylinder down there? Is the cap off? Yeah. Good, good. That's the one that we've got to watch. It's off. Good, good. How far is it down? Halfway. Okay, could you top that up for me? Okay, so if you wouldn't mind uh, just hitting that pedal again. No? Yeah, please. And again. And again. And that's it, no more. Okay, so the last one is going to be this rear uh, nipple here. So that's the one that we're now going to be bleeding. Okay. So this is the last bleed that needs to be done. So we're just going to again attach the 18 inch uh, tube to it, break the, the nipple on there, that's it. And we're just going to press the rear brake until the tube fills. And we're just going to press the rear brake. That's it, all that dark rubbish comes out. That's exactly what we should do. Okay. Yeah, keep going, another pump. We'll just watch the master cylinder down there. And again, one more. Thank you very much, and that should be crystal clear. And look, it's orange. I'll top that. So, that's it, yeah. Should I top this up? Yeah, so I'll just tighten that up. That's it. Right, one more. Well, probably a couple more. And one second, sorry. Now try. So it's running a little bit clearer now. It's getting there. And again, one more. That's it. Okay. 
cap it off. I keep forgetting to close the valve. There you go. This will need another, probably two to be honest. That is it. They are the seven, I believe there were eight steps in that service manual to bleed the entire system all the way through. Now they are linked brakes. As I said, that is my way of doing it and a full disclosure, I did not bleed the brakes dry before putting the new liquid in. Um, given the fact that you would just introduce a whole shed load of air into that system prior to doing so and you're just increasing the amount of risk of not being able to finish it, all I did was flush new system all the way through all those lines using the steps in the service manual. So, and you could see that you could see the change, you could see the colour change as you went through the system. So each time you opened up a new bleed nipple and you cleared those lines down, you could see it going from orange to the correct colour. So you could see that change. So you know you are bleeding the system. Now there will be those that say, oh, you've not really bred the system, there will still be contaminated of the old residue, but yes, there will be, but this gets it 98% of the way there, and I am happy that those brakes now work as much. I haven't introduced air, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time trying to get air out of the, all the different type of brake lines. That is 98% clear. It's running clear on all those brake lines. Yes, there will be some contamination from old fluid. Completely agree, but not that much that it is going to affect the handling of those brakes. To me, those brakes are now done. Um, I hope this video has been useful for you. There were lots of changes of camera because it was a long process. So I've had to go from one type of camera to another type of camera, which is really good, but I don't know really how to operate it so I'm hoping things are in focus and if they weren't I apologize um, I just hope that kind of helps people out you take it easy you ride safe I don't know when the next one will be because my brakes are done so I'm going to continue riding and um, but I will be putting videos up apologies for the lack of content over the last couple of months but I've been basically doing what you've been doing and not spending time in the house take it easy you ride safe take care and see you on the road